Any day now, Indiana lawmakers could override Governor Holcomb's veto to a bill that bans local governments from dealing with landlord-tenant disputes. Well, last March, the governor said it was the wrong time for such language to become law. But now many fear it could create housing instability here in our state. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan is finding out what would need to happen for lawmakers to pass this again. It's only the second day of session and the Hoosier Housing Needs Coalition isn't wasting any time getting down to business. We are very concerned that an override of SCA 148 would result in increased evictions and homelessness. So I think it's more important now than ever to ensure families have access to safe and affordable housing. We've asked folks to do is to be proactive and start that conversation with their legislators. The bill they're talking about bans local government from dealing with landlord-tenant disputes. Governor Holcomb vetoed it last year. Now state lawmakers may override his veto. It only takes a majority in both chambers, and they don't need public input. Traditionally, veto overrides are very rare, in part because vetoes themselves are rare. This is only Governor Eric Holcomb's second veto. UND political science professor Laura Wilson says she doesn't think an override is likely. I think it's going to be very challenging. Still, she does see this same issue coming up this year or in the future. You see modifications all the time and legislation that's reintroduced session after session. Those in favor of SEA 148 say it would create much needed uniformity between state and local laws. Those opposed say the impacts of that needs to be fully vetted first. We absolutely need to have some housing legislation passed, but it needs to be done where it's thoughtful, um, that adequate input is um, is generated as part of that, but it does need to happen. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News.